Jesus said to her, Mary. She turned and said to him in Hebrew, Rabu, which means teacher. Jesus said to her, Do not hold me, for I am not yet ascended to the Father. But go to my brethren and say to them, I am ascending to my Father and your Father, to my God and your God. Mary Magdalene went and said to the disciples, I have seen the Lord. And she told them that he had said these things to her. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear friends in Christ Jesus, we are in this beautiful season of Easter time. Just we have celebrated and rejoiced the Lord has risen and He has promised His resurrection to all of us. And today, Lord is giving such a wonderful, beautiful message through this gospel. The Lord assures, consoles us and promises us that we will be risen one day truly. Once it happened so that a man came out of his house, went near a lamppost and started searching something. The passerby was just passing around, asked him what happened and he said, I lost my key. And he also started helping him with them, searching for the key. Like this, two, three people gathered around and started searching around his lamppost for the key. After a long search, one of them asked him, By the way, where did you lose your key? And the man said, I lost it in my home. Then they asked, What are you doing here then? And he says, I don't have light at home. Light is here, so I'm searching. My dear friends, this may be a laughter, tickling laughter, but it has a lot of deep meaning to tell us. Today, what's happening in our life is we too are searching Jesus where he is not there. We are searching Jesus in our fears. We are searching Jesus in technology. We are searching for Jesus in our pride, slothfulness, in money, in so many things. But today's gospel tells us where Jesus truly is. Jesus is in each one of us. We need to call out Him. We need to be in watch, searching for the Lord. In today's gospel we see Mary Magdalene comes weeping to the tomb. She is filled with sorrow. And the Gospel says, Mary Magdalene goes happily proclaiming that the Lord is the risen. There's two important events happening. Mary is coming weeping with heavy heart and going back with joy and happiness. Why did Mary come with heavy heart? Mary came, stood near the tomb, and peeped inside the tomb and she says the tomb is empty. She is so much worried that Jesus is not there. She is filled with fear. The Lord is not there. Who will redeem us? Who will deliver us? So much of anxiety in Mary. Perhaps if we just put forth this to our lives, we are also surrounded with so much of anxiety because of this COVID-19. Who is there? What is going to happen? How we are going to survive? But at this moment of grief, strife struck me, all of us, Jesus says, be patient, have faith, have trust, and listen to me. I am calling each one of you by your names. Jesus called Mary, Mary recognized him immediately. The moment she recognized Jesus, the moment she heard the voice of Jesus, she was filled with joy. My dear friends, if we are open enough to hear to Lord in this moment of grief, this moment of fear, the Lord is ready to speak to us, to deliver us, to bring back to life. As we take part in this Holy Eucharist, I pray and wish that all of us be united in faith and have our trust completely in the Lord because He is the life giver, He is the protector, and He has risen. Surely we all will be risen. May the good Lord bless us all. Amen.
fruits of thy sacrifice unto us, but be acceptable that you are the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. I have certain compassion, O Lord, we pray, the offerings of your family, that under your protective care, they may never lose what they have received by attending the gifts that they are returned. We ask this to Christ our Lord.
Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you are this worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray the parting of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. A river of Lord in church spread throughout the world and bring it to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our hope, William, our bishop, and all the clergy. A river also brothers and sisters who fall asleep in the hope of resurrection and all who die in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, through our bitterness and phenomena, we may merit to be coherent to eternal life, and may praise and glorify through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Through
love of the Holy Eucharist. Heavenly Father, the Diocese of Mysore dedicates this year to the Most Holy Eucharist. We thank you for the precious gift of your risen Son, who remains with his Church until the end of time in the celebration of every Mass and through his abiding presence in all our churches. Through the power of the Holy Spirit, may we be ever more aware of the sustaining gift of Jesus in the most blessed sacrament, the source and summit of life and mission of the Church. In our prayer and contemplation of the Holy Eucharist, grant to us and also forgiveness of sins, holiness of life, communion of faith, nourishment for the work you entrust to us, and the proclamation of your kingdom. Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of the Church, and the first living tabernacle of our Lord Jesus, help us to worthily sustain the presence of Christ Jesus in our midst. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are the among women, and blessed is the fruit of your own Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, as it is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Let us pray. Here is the light of God, and as you are bestowed on your family, the perfect grace of baptism, so prepare their hearts for the reward of eternal happiness. We ask this to Christ our Lord. Christ will spread his peace, love, and joy. 